Hey everybody, we've got an interior plant here. However, you can plant this outside. And that's one reason that I want to feature this today is because it is not only an interior plant or a house plant, but it also can be planted in a mixed uh, bed as an annual outside. Uh, and it's quite easy to do that, in particular in a semi-shade situation. Uh, this would love to be out in that kind of situation uh, during the growing season in the garden. And this is spider plant, chlorophytum, camosum, variegatum. Uh, this is the variegated spider plant. Now, of course, you can get this in the non-variegated version, just the green version. And there's a couple other different variegated forms as well. Why is it called spider plant? Well, it's because of these little plantlets that form on the end of these long kind of vining branches. And you can actually pick these off and you can see that it's already formed what we call aerial roots. And you can actually just plop this in the soil and it'll grow as long as temperatures are warm and you give it adequate moisture and good growing conditions. So your spider plant likes bright indirect light. It will tolerate some shade inside, however, that will slow its growth rate just a little bit. Now, if you were to transition this and you wanted to plant uh, the little plantlets outside during the growing season, uh, they really do perform best in a semi-shade situation. Maybe morning sun, afternoon shade would be ideal for that, that type of plant. Uh, this is a tropical plant. It's uh, native to southern regions of Africa, uh, but is a very popular pass-along plant because it's so easy to pass along. The little plantlets uh, are easy to give to friends. Uh, it's used uh, in a lot of different ways uh, to add texture to uh, your home or to outside, uh, outside garden beds because it does have kind of a fine, nice texture to it, an upright kind of grassy-like appearance. So again, the spider plant or chlorophytum camosum variegatum. Here's a landscape tip. Keep this plant well watered with moist soil throughout the growing season. Less water is needed in the winter if growing as an interior plant. 